Okay, so I wanted to show somebody uh, some tutorials for this app and I found that um, that there weren't any good ones in English online. So I just uh, want to make a few rapid fire, um, uh, show you a few rapid fire things. Now, the first thing I'll, I'll do is just turn off my Wi-Fi. Okay, I have no internet connection. <coughs> and what this app will do, this is OSM and OSM Android, OpenStreetMap for Android. This map will uh, give me a full a full featured map with vector data offline. Okay, so I'm not not connected. It's just loading from its own uh, from the app's own memory um, the own storage here. Okay, and it gives me all of that information. Now, if you have a, a, an internet connection, use Google Maps. Uh, this gives you total OSM and OSM Android gives you a total overload of information sometimes, and it's it's not the best the best system. That, but uh, it's a great backup. Okay. Now, having said that, um, it doesn't store all of the maps all the time. Okay, so here in my when I zoom out in my world overview map, this country, which is Panama here, which is in green, that's one of the maps that I've downloaded. So before you leave your hotel or before you leave your um, your house to go on your trip, you need to download maps. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. This is version 2.2.4. Hopefully yours works the same way. Um, so there are different menus here and the menu that we're going to use slides in from the left. Okay, just slide your finger in from the left of your screen and it should show you this menu here. And this one here is called manage map files. So that's important. Now I'm going to need to turn on my, my Wi-Fi for this so that I can show you how to download a map. Okay, I've turned on Wi-Fi and it shows me some information about how much storage space I have. And, uh, <coughs> and I've got three tabs up here. All downloads, whatever, whatever, what I have locally, and what can be updated. All right, the updates, the updatable things here, here are shown in orange. And, uh, <coughs> and one thing that you need for this thing to, to run is the world overview map. And that gives you, um, that gives you just basic information you know, capitals or, or large cities, and it gives you some intercity highways and stuff like that. That's all part of the world overview map. So slide in from the left, manage map files. Now, what's not in the world overview map is details about cities and towns and that, and also points of interest probably, and that is what we're going to download. So here I've downloaded it for Panama. And to do that, you'll go to all downloads here. Always press refresh before, uh, before doing anything then it will make sure you have the most up-to-date list. And I went to Central America to select Panama. Okay, so I just found Panama from a list. Here it's showing that I already have that, but we'll press it anyway. And it gives me a bunch of options. You definitely want to download the standard map. And if you have some extra plugins, you may want the contour lines and hill shades. So I pressed standard map, and uh, it probably, if you have, don't have it, it'll start downloading it immediately. If not, you just press download here in this little menu that comes up. Okay, so I won't do anything because I already have that map. Um, and when you do that, it will, it will download it. So press back, press back, this little back arrow right here. And, um, and just look in local, update that list. And here I have Panama, United Kingdom, World Overview Map, etc. And here are my extra things that I have from my plugins. Anyway, not important right now. Let's go to Panama. And Panama City is right here by uh, at the mouth of the Panama Canal. And there it is. Okay, so to use this map, I again, I have some extra plugin stuff here. Don't worry about that. But to use this map, you just like Google Maps, you can pinch and zoom. You can also press these plus and minus. And this little symbol here, um, when it's blue, it will bring you to your current location. I have my location settings turned off right now, um, but you would press that and it would take you to your current position. Let's look at what else, what other buttons are on the screen. It's important to understand all of these things. This one here, the this one, it says north is up. Okay, it's a toggle. If I press it, it will go to north as the direction of movement, so that only works when you're moving. 
press it again, it will give you north is, is to compass, so the compass of your device, which is somewhat unreliable, and here's back to north is up. This button here, which looks like a bunch of layers, think of that as layers, that is a high, a very fine-grained customization of what your map shows. We'll go to that in a second. Down here is your dashboard, okay, you want to, uh, and it will show you some other features that OSM Android will do. Sliding in from the left, as we saw, has some other, some, some of these options are repeated from other menus, but it has a settings option, manage map files, plugins, etc. Um, <coughs> really some of the same options that are in the dashboard, so we'll, we'll access these, uh, most of these through the dashboard. And then this button uh, down here is your navigation button. So this, if you just press this, it will navigate to the destination, which happens to be right here. It's this checkered flag. I've selected that as the, as the destination. And this one here is this little uh, world browse map button. If you are driving, cycling, or walking, you may select different ones of these things to highlight different types of stuff on the map. It only kind of works. So I'm just gonna go to pedestrian and uh, leave it like that. So, dashboard. Press this to access the dashboard. <coughs> um, waypoints here have to do with navigation, so if you're navigating, make sure you want to make sure that you don't have waypoints you don't mean to visit on your navigation route. Here's for searching. Um, but I think what, what I want to show you is, um, is how to select locations on the map and do stuff with them, okay? So we'll just uh, we'll just get out of. Whoops, I don't know how to get out of that. But anyway, so here I have some points of interest. Okay, these are these orange guys. Here I have an audio note that I made earlier, and here I have my destination. If I click on, if I if I press on any of those, just a short press, it will give me some options. Okay. Um, but if I short press anywhere else on the map, not on one of those points that I just mentioned, it doesn't do anything. But you can long press. Just hold your finger down, whoops, and try not to move it. Hold your finger down, and now you get the same options. It just makes a point there and gives you these options. Now, if you're traveling, you'll be, you'll be uh, <coughs> wanting to make some favorites. So let's make a favorite out of that point. That's that little star right there. Press the star, and it lets you rename it. I'm going to call it my fave. And here's what I... Th so pay attention. Do not press replace. It looks like it's the only button that you can press, but that's garbage. It doesn't do anything that you want to do. You instead want to press back. So just use your, your, your back button on your Android device. And now you can see that this little save button up here is revealed. So press the save button, okay, and you can see now I've made a favorite. That's that little star that's there. I'll just long press somewhere else to make a point somewhere else. So that's that star right there. If I press the star, just a quick press, it will select the favorite, and I can do all the things I can normally do to any point, um, including stuff like this. So I can t get directions from this point to whatever the destination is right now. I mentioned in a minute ago it's a checkered flag, so we'll just press directions from, and now it's given me walking directions from there to there. So that's that's right along this this route. And I believe, maybe I have to press go now. Yes, so I think um, when you press go, it will use your position, which is not yet known on here, and it will follow you around on the map sort of like the resume button on Google Maps navigation. <coughs> press this little X to get out of navigation mode. Press this, um, this little gear shaped thing to look at some options to do with navigation. So I could change that to a driving route. You could, you'll see that the change is a lot. Okay, so, that, so that's the driving route to get from there to there, that, that, that big purple path. I can change this to avoid uh, toll roads, to avoid unpaved roads, etc, etc, etc. Endless options, which is the theme of this map. Okay, so I pressed X to get out and I dismissed the route. I'll just show you that again. So 
So, so here I'm in the navigation mode. I press this X to get out of navigation mode, and it's out. Sometimes it asks me if I really want that, and I press yes. Um, okay, so the map layers, this is something that you should know, uh, how, that you should learn how to use. See my favorite there? Oops, to show the map layers. See my favorite there? Now you don't see it. Okay, so I just selected whether or not I want to show my favorites. That's important. I can also show the point labels. So all these points, the orange ones and the label uh, and the favorite here, I can show the point labels. It shows my fave and whatever uh, these things are called, uh, museum and so on. Museum of Contemporary Arts, there you go. Point labels, so get rid of those because they clutter up the map. Um, however, the points of interest, these orange things, are very useful if you're a tourist. So we will, we can not show them, or when we show them, it tells, it asks me which ones I want to see. And here are the categories that they offer, and that's really the only thing that you get. So we can go to tourism, and now it shows me all the ones that are related to tourism. Um, okay, and you, and when you go into the map, you can treat these just like any other point. You just click on the POI, it gives me, it gives you these options. So that's great. Last thing I want to show you is how to search. So go to your dashboard down here on the bottom left and you can search for addresses, coordinates, coordinates or POIs. This searching on OSM Android is an exercise in frustration, but we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to uh, hopefully select POI or address or something. Which doesn't seem to do anything. Oops. Uh, okay, so I pressed I pressed one of those things. I pressed address. So here I can search by address. I'll search in Panama. Okay, and I will search in Boquete, which is a nice little uh, place to visit. Uh, I think it's a coffee growing in area. And here I can go to Callejón Seco, the dry alleyway. And, uh, and I'll go to... I'm just selecting things that it's offering me. Obviously, if you're looking for something specific, you may have much more trouble than I did just now. And so here it's, uh, it's shown me that exact location. But maybe more useful than that um, will be to long press and then use this menu and put search near here. And then you can search by POI, so search by, by point of interest, and type something that you hope is in the title of what you're searching for. So. Um, Let's look for Mercado to hopefully find a place, uh, a market of some sort. And here we go. It's got all the places that have Mercado in the title. There's one that's three kilometers away. It's the municipal marketplace. And there I have found something some that could be of use to me. So that was, that was all through, whoops, not through there. That was through the dashboard and searching. Um, uh, with these things, and also by just long pressing on a location, using this menu, and going search near here. Uh, that just about covers it.